what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts and i have to say i'm happy got a new mic waited a couple days for it i know jojo's was supposed to come out yesterday but i waited on this mic to be able so i'm not annoyed and by the other mic i had so I don't know if you guys have noticed but I did put out a video about the mic about this mic and the previous mic um, the mic started to annoy me because of the, the humming it was giving me in my videos just humming in the background just annoyed me to death um, not just on my headphones but also during my editing when I um, did them it, it, it just it was just it was just it was too much it was too much and I just couldn't I couldn't handle it anymore um, plus I had thoughts to upgrade anyways from the get-go so um, so I, I got this mic I, I, I was gonna get the SM7B um, but as I've explained in that video if you want to go see that video it's titled <laughs> it's titled I had to talk this long for the test okay it's a 20 minute video of me just talking on the mic talking about how i obtained the mic why i obtained the mic and all of that all of that jazz but here we are talking about jojo's bizarre adventure stardust crusaders and as i said um you guys said this series is going to get wild <laughs> okay so i'm looking forward to it of course jotaro the man, the myth, the legend. We got Joseph. We got Avdal. We got um, Polnareff, and I can never, I can't pronounce his name right. Kakoyin, Kakojin, whatever his freaking name is. I can never pronounce his name right. I know the name, I just can't pronounce it right. I think it's Kakoyin, uh, Kakojin. I, I don't, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, um, but. They've defeated two more stand users, and we're still looking for deal. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy the reaction, and of course, leave a like on the video. And as always, let's jump into the reaction, and I will see you guys for the review. As I sound very dynamic on this mic, right? I sound like I'm on the radio, don't I? Such a rich sound, man. I'm loving this mic. Loving it. See you guys for the review. Yes, that was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Episode 34 and 35. I really enjoyed that, man. That was... That was a real... Um, this stand user, Darby, was, I wouldn't say he's the most formidable, even though they classified it as the strongest they've come up against. I don't know. I don't know. He's definitely strong. He was definitely a, a, a strong, um, stand user. That you could mess you couldn't mess around with because pretty much all these you know stand users is basically at right now it's not no outright fighting but it's more of like um outsmarting these dudes um so it's more on the brain tip the 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 the, the, the intelligence tip more than anything else it, you know what i'm saying so i'm looking at it from this point of view like that's the route that they're going for now until you know we get to the fighters i think dio might have the fighting stands um closer to him um so these ones are the ones that are trying to outsmart everybody because their stands not all of them are going to be fighting stands like you know what i'm saying like go after you like to get bloody this guy takes your soul if you give up on life or whatever the situation is like if you admit in your heart that you've lost 
you could lose your soul you know and you know i i did point out something that i think is one of the things that i that i uh don't do very often with this series is to kind of draw parallels because it doesn't present that opportunity very often so um it was good to kind of do that with jojo for for a change because um when it comes on to this series as i said it's it's a very straightforward series that you know it reminds me a lot of i don't want to say it's dragon ball in a way but it but it's certainly in that aspect you know what i'm saying um i know some people you know somebody might get upset by me saying that but it's just from my viewing you know of but it, it, it's certainly more enjoyable in my opinion for me it's more enjoyable to watch um to, to watch this over Dragon Ball and I'm not just I'm not just saying that because there is a very linear story about Jojo that you're following these characters with Dragon Ball it's just okay we beat this strong guy who's the next strong guy you know what I'm saying there's no purpose behind what they're fighting for and a lot of people put people will say oh they're fighting for earth what do you mean they're not fighting for anything listen guys in dragon ball super after we got past dragon ball z there was the fighting is just who's stronger oh i'm here to destroy the earth okay i'm we're the defenders of earth you know what i'm saying and one of the biggest issues that i have with dragon ball is the fact that there is no real stakes there is no real stakes you're just watching it for entertainment because there's no stakes people don't die in dragon ball when they die they just wish them back who the hell cares <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's just like don't expect anybody to die in dragon ball z if it happens it happens maybe the, you know maybe in the future they'll probably decide to kill someone for good <laughs> you know what i'm saying only villains die for good in dragon ball and when you're writing a story like that it's just like okay it's gaining its popularity people just want to see great fights we just want to see more transformation and that's it with this is there's a, there's stakes to it there's you know what i'm saying if it doesn't happen you know as in in these two episodes if they if jotaro doesn't do what he did we've lost all the characters in the show you know what i'm saying with no return there's nothing getting them back if jotaro loses we lose everybody in the main cast you know what i'm saying and as i said holly is dying anyways why not throw her soul in there too <laughs> you know what i mean um so that's how i that's how i see that and it's just it's wonderful to see that they there's some stakes to this and in terms of that that's where i say that it's a tier above dragon ball for me that's just my personal opinion not necessarily a general one so um so yeah man have beaten another one he couldn't take the bet because he was so scared of Dio and I I don't know if Jotaro actually realized how afraid he was or he just bluffed his way into that when he started to see how nervous he became and he just said you know what let me up the ante a little bit pun intended right let me up the ante a little bit and see if he'll crack you know and he did because i knew he, he was bluffing his track you don't know what it is you know what i'm saying you don't know what the cards are i don't know if he realized that everybody in in the bar was working with darby i don't know if he realized that and was like no matter what i do here i'm gonna lose and if i see the cards and realize i have trash i'm gonna panic and you know give away some tells or whatever but we'll see but in any case guys that's all I have to say about this. It was a great two episodes, man. Appreciate you guys today. It was funny as hell. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys 
next time. Don't forget to hit the, li the like button. Don't forget to comment. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Hope, hopefully, um, um, this new mic here. I'm probably gonna do another recording to be honest because people are saying, "Oh, it was too quiet." All right, bro. I told, I already told you guys that it was raw audio. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> Do you guys really believe that people just record videos and put them up on YouTube? Is, is that is that what you guys think? Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time. Peace.